So what brings you here today, Bernadette? I always try and get along with people. And I want to be liked. But I hate confrontation. So I always do things that I don't want to do. Say yes when I mean no. And I never fight back. Can you give me some examples? Well, there's my mother first of all. Like the other day. Now Bernadette, you should wear long skirts like that to cover those knees of yours. No one wants to see you with your knees. Yes, Mum. I suppose you're right. And then there's this guy at work, Justin, who's really, really cute. Hey, Bernadette. Do you reckon you could stay back now and do my RTW cost analysis? It's due tomorrow, but I have a date tonight and I've really got to dash. Um, okay, sure thing, Justin. Great, you're a star. It's 150 pages this time. And then there's my best friend, Philippa. Hey, you know where we should go on Saturday night? That new bar, Lush Velvet. I heard the talent is really good. I'm talking the hottest guys. He didn't mind being designated driver, do you? No worries. I like mocktails anyway. Great. I'm going to get smashed and pick me up a hottie. I think I might be a... a doormat. We don't use those terms here, Bernadette. But I think that you need to do some self-confidence exercises. Look, first of all, what I'd like you to do is to write a list of your good points and put them somewhere nice and handy so you can look over them whenever you're feeling a little bit down. And also, I'd like you to write a sign and I want you to put on that sign, I am Bernadette and I am important. And I want you to stick it to your bathroom mirror and I want you to read it out loud every single morning. I am Bernadette and I am important. Have you thought any more about that job Uncle Alan's got going? I mean, how long are you going to keep that data entry thing up for, dear? May as well just chuck it in and go and work in the chicken shop. I think that's probably your best chance at any kind of career. Yeah. I guess you're right. Hey, Ben. Can you finish off my NPR report? I really need to get to the gym at lunch and work on my pecs. Okay, no problem, I'll do it. It's on the F server, just like last month. Great idea to do the 6am yoga class. Good way to get fit together. Oh, there he is. Who? Oh, the hot guy who I heard takes this class. Quick, move somewhere else so I can offer him your spot. No worries. Hi, there's a spot next to me. So how did you go this week, Bernadette? Look, I think we'll do some more role play today. But first of all, I'd like you to add to the affirming statement in your bathroom. I'd like you to add, I'm a confident and assertive person. Oh, be careful, Bernadette. That's glassware for Auntie Mabel's birthday. You really do need to learn to take better care of other people's belongings, don't you? You've always been like that. Hey, I have to dash. I'm having dinner with Annabelle from marketing. You don't mind outputting CBT numbers for me, do you? So I've got popcorn, Rocky Road ice cream and all my Jennifer Lopez movies. <laughs> I couldn't decide. Okay, change of plans. I've kind of triple booked myself tonight. You don't mind looking after a baby, do you? <laughs> You're right. I should learn to take better care of other people's belongings. Yes, dear. I'm always right. Sure thing. Happy to help out. Great. So. Sure thing. No worries. His name's Thomas. He's my sister's. Oh, that'll be Darren. You know, from the Smash Repairers. So cute. Thanks, Bernie. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, Bernadette, this is all right. We'll do some more role play today. But first of all, what I'd like you to do is to add something of your own to the affirming statement in your bathroom. So something empowering, something that you can use in everyday conversation. Why? What's the point? <sighs> well, you're right. What is the point? How does it feel to know that you're going to spend the rest of your life as a doormat? So, as I was going to say, have you run the podiatrist yet? I know those spots on your feet are barely noticeable, but if I don't tell you, nobody else will. So make sure you ring him, okay? So I'm going to finish this TMA report, but I've got a lunch date with Annabelle, so you'll do it for me, won't you, Bernie? He's hot. I think he'll do for tonight. Here, hold this. I have to get him to buy me one. And don't forget to wait around for at least half an hour in case he turns out to be an asshole, okay? No. 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 What? 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 You might think that you can criticise me and tell me every little thing that's wrong with me and that I won't answer back because you're my mother. You might think that just because you're incredibly good looking that I'll do your work for you any time you ask. You might think that I'm so desperate to be friends with you that I'll let you use me whenever you want to get whichever guy you're after at the time. But I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm fabulous, and if you're gonna treat me as anything less, then you can just get, get, get fucked, fucked, fucked. So how'd you go this week? I think I'm getting the hang of it. 